Hello everyone and welcome to YouTube Tuesday session seven with me Jessica Brigden of Just Be Creative Cardiology. I am so glad you're here today. Thanks for joining me. It seems like it really wasn't that long ago when I was trying my hardest to get to a thousand subscribers and guess what we are at almost almost to 1300. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Please help me to um, increase the subscribers on my channel and hit some of those goals that I have. And you definitely want to join us, subscribe, leave me comments here on my videos because each Tuesday I give away the projects that I make, which is awesome. So last week we made these really cool sunburst cards and I have two winners to announce today. So if you're watching, even if you're watching the replay, um, our winners are Judy Evans Riker and Karen Keatsman. So Judy and Karen, whoever comments first gets first pick on whether it's the whale done or the sunshine card. <laughs> All right, but one of you, you'll get, um, you'll each get one of these. Um, and so just send me an email or a message there. It's there on the contact me part of my YouTube channel here. And then even way down in the bottom um, on the comments of the video here after it posts live, um, there is a subscribe to my newsletter. Um, and that is one of the ways that you can con contact me so that I'll have your email and can get your mailing address. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to adjust my camera here. If you can see by the colors in my shirt, can you guess what products we're going to be playing with today? That is one of the things that uh, you'll learn about me is I always try to coordinate <laughs> with the projects that I'm making. So you can see I've got lots of navy, some shades of blue, because we are going to play with the Boho Indigo product medley today. Hey Diane, how are you? Yes, so the Boho Indigo product medley is awesome. It's one of those, they call it a medley because you would get the stamp set, you get the dies, the paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, you get a whole bunch of goodies all in one little, all wrapped up in one package there. And there's even a refill kit. So if you're like me and you've pretty much used all of your goodies, you can get a refill. Um, of the designer series paper and it does not come with the ribbon, but it does come with the die cuts um, and all of that fun stuff. All right, so let me flip around here and we can get started. All right. Okay, so we'll do a quick flip. There we go. You can see my medley there. Okay. You can also see my July host code. So if you'd like to place an order with me, uh, it's R-Y-J-D-T-M-S-7. Oh, hey, Michelle, Central New York, north of Syracuse. So I am actually in Central New York, just south of Syracuse. I am um, in the Ithaca area. So just in Lansing, actually, just a little bit north of Ithaca, about 10 minutes. Yeah, so I'm only an hour. It takes about an hour drive from Syracuse. We just hop on 81. Yeah, so I love this medley. It's here on page nine of the annual catalog. Um, and you can see all of the contents there as well as some great project ideas. But today, because it's Tuesday, uh, we'll do a fun technique. So I have cut some squares. I've got some Knight of Navy cardstock here and some very vanilla. So as you can see, that's why I was wearing my blues today because we're going to play with shades of blue. All right, so we're going to start out pretty simple uh, with our card base here that's five and a half by eight and a half. And we will just fold that there at the four and a quarter mark. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Hey, Carmen from Georgia. Awesome. Thanks for joining me. All right, so I'm starting with my card base, which is Knight of Navy, just a half sheet. And then in this package, um, you also get, what do you, you get so many... You get, I think it's, oh goodness, I was gonna say, you get some embossed sheets in here too. And I've pretty much used them all. So you get two each of three to so see, you get six 
six by six embossed sheets. Oh, hey, Karen. Karen, you are the winner, one of the winners of my cards from last week. So go ahead and leave me a comment here. Would you like the sunshine card or the whale card? And then if you can um, message me with your email, or sorry, message me with your mailing address, then I'll get that out to you. So Karen, you either, you commented first, so you get first pick. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so with the, you get the embossed sheets here. I have used so much. I cut a whole bunch of little, of the little um, vase there. Oh, hey, Tina from Virginia. Wow, also on 81. Yes, we have driven that all the way down through Virginia on our way to South Carolina. And boy, that is a long ride. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, I've got a little bit of scraps left. So um, one of the six by six or one of the patterns is this cute little diamond shape. And then the other pattern here, if I've got a little bit left, is kind of like a flowery starburst. Um, but either way, this is all I have left of my embossed pieces. So I'm filling in today. So if you have your kit and you've got your embossed pieces left, then you would just trim that down to four by five and a quarter. Um, I am subbing in some very vanilla that I have embossed with the Tasteful Textile embossing folder because it, it matches. And so I'm going to go ahead and tape that down and find my adhesive here. Okay, so I'm using up my snail today. <laughs> Just a little bit of this left. So go ahead and tape this down. This is four by five and a quarter. Um, sure, so Karen, if you want to email me, it's Jess B, J-E-S-S-B, at creativecardiology.com. Okay, so Jess B at creativecardiology.com is the way to email me there. Okay, so we've got our base and we're pretty much gonna set this aside. And now I've cut two squares. These are two and three quarters inch squares. So 2.75 on each side. And I'm gonna put a little adhesive here just down the center because I'm going to stagger those. All right, so I'm turning them so that they're layering over each other. Do you guys hear my Ziggy in the background? She was taking a nap <laughs> on the chair next to my craft table here, uh, sleeping so peacefully. And then here, just as soon as I started my video, she decided to wake up and wants to go out and play. So let me let her out real quick. Otherwise, she'll... She will meow through our whole video. She is quite talkative. Okay, so I know that doesn't look much like much, but we just take those two squares and overlap them, kind of makes a star here. And then the gorgeous thing with this paper is you really can't go wrong with all of these different patterns with the shades of blue, some are floral, you have some that are leafy and have different patterns, um, some zigzags, all kinds of cool things on there. And some of them are the kind of the navy background with the vanilla, and then the other side is the vanilla with the navy. So I've just chosen just a random pattern here. I went with this navy with the vanilla and on the back side are these fun little, little flower bursts there. So I've cut these into one and a quarter inch strips. That's 1.25. And I'm going to cut several squares. We need eight all together. So I'm just using my mini trimmer here for demo purposes. So you're gonna do 1.25 and then keep moving these in here. So we need, we can get four of them from each six by six sheet. Okay, so just put that in there at the 1.25. All right, so if you're using the bigger trimmer, obviously you could, this one only goes to the four inches, so it's kind of hard to 
I mean, I guess I could go, I could do two and a half just to save a little time here and then cut that into one and a quarter. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Oops, all the way to the other, the two and a half. And that way I get the 1.25. Okay, so you need eight of these all together. And the great thing about you could use any of our double-sided papers, which is awesome here. All right, so then we'll turn, we need four of them right side up and four of them upside down here. Okay, why do I not have, there we go. I'm missing, missing a little bit there. Okay, so again at that 1.25 square, and you need eight all together, four with one side up, four with the other. Okay. And then you just wanna put just a dab of adhesive here on each point. All right, so go ahead and just put a little bit on each. Oh, that tape runner's out too. Okay, so we are then going to, and then with this one, it does kind of have a direction on the flowers. So we'll stick these just inside. You will have just a little bit of a border so our little squares are 1.25, and then the two big squares were 2.75. All right, and then with the polka dots here, the little starburst, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to overlap these, which is why we didn't want to glue it down all the way. I just had you put little points there on the corner because we do want to be able to pull this up so that the pieces overlap. Does that make sense? Okay. So we're alternating our pieces here. And again, if you're using a directional pattern, you wanna make sure that you're going in the right direction. And then these are going to overlap. So, so you don't wanna glue them all the way down completely. You just put a little bit of adhesive on the edges there in that way. That way you can tuck these, tuck the next piece under. Does that make sense? We can go ahead and stick them down a little more firmly once they're all in place. But you're alternating each one so that they overlap here. Yeah, isn't this a cool technique? It's super duper simple. Oh, hey, Jackie. Awesome, from the UK. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think we got everybody there. Let's just check on my comments real quick. So yes, super simple quick technique, but I love these that are simple, yet they look kind of complicated. So everybody's like, whoa, how did you do that? <laughs> And then you'd be like, well, <laughs> all right, there we go. So how cool is that with our, we've got all of our eight pieces in and each one overlaps the one next to it. Okay, and yep, I'm out of adhesive. So you guys get to see me change that. I'm actually gonna put a new, I don't have any more refills for my snail. So I'm going to, here with my stamp and seal. What have I got? I've got seal plus available. Where's the container for this one? All right. I want regular seal because I don't need it to be super duty. So with the seal, if you haven't tried this already, uh, the case just pops apart like that. Once you've seen the red line and your adhesive is done, you pop that out. And then the refills come in these cute little bags here with the little tear strip. Keeps them nice and protected. It's adult proof. <laughs> okay, oh, this is a brand new one. I thought I had extra refill. Must be I ordered two. All right, well, good, because I lost the little cap for my other one. So 
take this apart. Set this aside in a safe place because if you're like me, you kind of lose it. And then you do need to prime it just a little bit. So just roll it back a little bit with your finger. There we go, until you've got the adhesive there. And then you can just, where you've lifted this up a little bit, there we go, just tack it down a little bit more. You could use glue dots for this as well. That would also work. Okay, whoops, that one needs a little bit more security right underneath it. Okay, so I'll just tuck this right in there. But that's why we waited till we got them all in position so we knew we had them where we wanted and which direction. Okay, put a little more, there we go. We don't want our card to fall apart when we give it to somebody. Okay. And we've got just one more, I think. All right, so we are good to go there. So now I'm going to just put my adhesive here on the back. And then you can kind of decide which direction. Um, I like this flower, it kind of points straight. So I think I'm gonna do that one pointing up towards the top of my card and try to center that on here so I'm equal distance from each side. Okay, so I've got that. And then in this, we need something for the center just to kind of hide our little spot there. And I love in this kit, you get these fun little felt flowers and there's two sizes. There's larger ones, so big ones and little ones. I think the big one will be just the right size. And they have the, I've colored some on a previous video and um, which you can go back and watch that to see how I did that with my blends. But they have these cute little beads in the center. So I'm gonna pull in my glue dots you're gonna always stick your flower or your embellishment, always stick it to the dot. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Jackie. I'm glad you like this. I know sometimes it's fun to go back and revisit some of these techniques. It's not, it's not anything new, but yeah, it's just something that, you know, sometimes trends, you know, change and you have something that's super popular for a moment and then it kind of, subsides a little bit, so it's fun to go back and revisit some of these um, older techniques a little bit, uh, because when we use new products for them, they're nice and fresh. Yeah. All right, so also with these, um, I do have intact. You get a couple of these embellishment sheets. You actually get, I think you get four of them. You get two of each design here, and so I thought some of these gold foil tags might look really cute here on our project. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe this one because it has the pointed ends, which kind of coordinate with our card. And then I'm gonna pull in some Knight of Navy ink. We've got our stamp set here. So to fit in our little one here, I'm gonna use the thank you stamp. Yes, I hope you guys do try it out. It's not complicated at all. Um, <laughs> and I've done the hard work for you. So you need uh, your two, two overlapping squares here that are two and three quarters inch each. Okay, so 2.75 square. And then our little ones are one and a quarter inch and you need eight of those. Um, so, so not too difficult math. I don't like dealing with um, odd measurements like eighths and sixteenths and all of that. So you'll notice uh, with my videos, I tend to do everything's um, either on the solid inch, the half, or the quarter. Because that when you're when you're cutting and prepping, that's that's easiest to do. All right, so I've inked up our little thank you here with our Knight of Navy ink. And I'm going to try, attempt to do this here, looking through my camera and hope I get it straight. Oh, ho, ho, yay. <laughs> you know, the excitement never, never goes away when you ink something straight and it comes out like you wanted it to. <laughs> 
So I'll put a couple little dimensionals on the back here. All right, and we'll just tack this right there. There we go, how cute is that? Do you guys wanna see it again with a couple different patterns? We'll change it up a little bit. Yeah, so this was just one of the patterns. Um, again, I'm gonna stick with the Knight of Navy because with this, with this product medley, so much is already built into the medley that the only thing you need to add to it really is some Knight of Navy cardstock and some Knight of Navy ink. That is really all you need to add to it besides your product medley. All right, and of course your tools, like your trimmer and your bone folder. Um, and I seem to have, there we go. Looks like I misplaced my trimmer here. All right, so again, just a half a sheet of cardstock, and that's one of the reasons we make two, because you um, one to keep and one to give away. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna follow that, that same pattern here. Our card layer of very vanilla is four by five and a quarter. And we'll just go ahead and tack this down first. And I would suggest using one of the embossed sheets from the medley. Of course, like I said, I ran out. <laughs> I used them all. So I embossed a piece with the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. It's not, it just makes it not quite so flat. It's got just a little bit of texture there. And again, our two and three quarter inch square pieces. So I just go ahead. I just put one little, one line of adhesive down the middle there. And it doesn't matter if it, I mean, you could do this. It doesn't matter if it's gonna show out the end because we're going to place our patterned papers over top. So we do our best to try to line these up evenly. So I, I pre-cut, since I already showed you how to cut your one and a quarter inch pieces, uh, for this one, I'm using another pattern from this. So this has this, um, Oh, it's kind of like a diamond floral. And then the backside has these fun little stripey patterns on it. So again, we'll just put a little dab of adhesive on each corner here. We already had a little bit poking through on the other ones. And then pick a design. That one's pretty symmetrical, so let's go with that. We'll stick that one up here at the top. And then you're gonna alternate. So you need four right side up for the other side. And we'll slip, don't glue them down all the way because you do wanna be able to tuck them in. Okay, there we go. And then you'll slip this under there. So that's the important thing is to not tack them down all the way because you wanna be able to alternate and slip, slip these in. All right, and then like I said, once you get them in place, then you can use a little more adhesive and tack them down more securely. All right, so I didn't measure, but you're just kind of visibly seeing Leave yourself a little bit of a solid border as you go around. All right, and I should have, should have one more piece, two more pieces. Yes, here we go, they're hiding. Okay. Isn't that cool? Just the different patterns from this suite and because it's such an amazing, like such a different look. It's really cool. All right, and then get it back in there. Okay, so yep, we'll go ahead. Now that we're all in place, we can secure our little bit more adhesive here. Just kind of lift them up and go around. A little lift and tuck, <laughs> we could call it. I know I sure could use a little lift and tuck in some areas. 
Ah, it's the joy of summertime, right? There's not so much hidden. I did get my walk in though today. So I've been, that is one thing about being home a little bit more is I have had, um, you know, I haven't had to commute. So I've been able to have a little bit more time in the morning so I can get my walk in. All right, I think we're good there. All right, so then go ahead and just put your adhesive on all sides and then decide which one you want towards. I think I like that darker. I am drawn to the, the darker navy flowers. So let's do that. Let's put that one at the top. Although, I mean, it doesn't, you could really put this on any way you like. Let's do that. We did the pointed top here. So let's do the little V at the top of this one. And again, just try to mark that you're even from all the sides. And then we'll pull in some more of those fun little embellishments. Oh, there was my other piece that I was missing. All right. Where'd my flowers go? They were here, it's, you know, I'm not crafting with that big of a table here. So I don't know how things disappear so easily. But I do think on this one, it would be fun to use a different sentiment. And there's this cute one. Sorry, you're feeling blue. So I thought I would use that. And let's go with Let's go, I need a little bit longer tag. So let's see, maybe we'll pull, we'll pull in one of these. This is kind of fun. So we'll do that. Oh, here's my flowers, the bag spilled. There we go. All right, I have to make sure I put those in a safe place. I tag it on with my glue dot first before I lose it. <laughs> And so I do it while I'm thinking about it and then I get distracted. I've got, I don't know, I get squirrel syndrome sometime. <laughs> okay, so our greeting here with Night of Navy Ink. Uh, the font on these is so pretty, but I definitely love scripty cursive fonts. And then we'll do that right in here. Sorry, you're feeling blue. Okay, and press firm, lovely, very nice. And a couple of dimensionals here. Uh, let's make it, I want it to cave in in the center, so we'll put a third one right there in the middle. All right, and then we are ready to adhere it to our card. There we go. So what do you guys think? This was our faux pinwheel technique. Um, it's faux because obviously the pinwheel does not spin there. <laughs> um, have I tried using very vanilla as my card base? Yes, I could have. I wanted a contrast in here between because I was using the navy for my squares um, because you definitely do need something to adhere your little squares to um, and so navy on navy it would blend a little bit too much um, what i do have though is some extra pieces of vanilla and I, I haven't shown this on my video but often i leave my cards blank until um, until i write them out and then just slip in a little piece of vanilla on the inside and then you've got it, you can write your message right there. So that's what I do if I use um, darker card bases is just cut a piece of white or vanilla to match your card um, and tuck that right on the inside. And then if you've got extra little scraps and, and tidbits, you can always decorate, um, put a little matching strip or something right there in there with your message. Yeah, kind of dresses up the inside a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So good question. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad you guys were able to join me here. Uh, I hope you'll give this a try. This is the faux pinwheel technique. And let me show you. I, um, 
I actually, I did this several years ago with a technique class that I did. And check out how it looks. This was with some older uh, botanical patterns that we had, but it gives you just an idea of how cool that looks um, and all the different patterns. So the possibilities are endless and all you need is a fun, fun. Yeah, so thank you guys so much. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and even hit that little notification bell uh, so that you get notice of when I go live and post a new video. All right. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.